shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hi there, Jordan. How are you doing today? I am well. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Yeah. I enjoyed your performance so much. It was like my high school dream. You would have been like my Aww. high school little dream guy. I love that. I love that. If I'd seen this as a 16 year old. <laughs> well, obviously, the dancing is the center stage for this film. It's super fun. It's super interesting and creative. What is the most difficult part of filming some of these elaborate dance scenes that you're doing with Sabrina and Liza and all the other cast members? Yeah, um, I mean, there are all sorts of, of roads that you have to navigate when you're filming something like this. You know, it's um, obviously very complex in terms of your shot sequences and, um, you know, kind of how to navigate that, especially if it's something that's shot on a proscenium stage, which like the, the you know the big finale at the end of the at the end of the film is shot proscenium. So you you know you have to there, there's there's a lot that you have to navigate. And I think that just kind of the repetition of doing the same sequences over and over and over again while trying your best as a human being to make it feel and look fresh uh, every take. That's probably the hardest thing, which is why you know it takes a while. It takes two or three days to film one you know big dance number like that. Mm -hmm. What um, I enjoyed about your character so much is he was in such a, you know, he had overcome some challenges that happened mm -hmm. to him in his life, but he wasn't brooding. You know, there was still such a warmth about him and you just felt, you know, to gravitate to him and have some empathy that he wanted to resume dancing and, and, and doing what he loved. There are yeah. so many people who've been taken out of doing things that they love due to our current conditions. How have mm -hmm. you kept yourself, you know, up and and engaged and and just reliving all those things you love to do that may have been limited due to our certain our current circumstances? Well, I think that like you know, chronic self pity is something that we all have to kind of uh, force our way out of. That's something that uh, it takes a lot of mental fortitude and willpower, and I think that ultimately is informed by how we surround ourselves with the kind of people that we choose to surround ourselves with, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm very grateful to say that I have amazing people in my life. I've got a great, you know, great family. I have a beautiful fiance who's so super supportive and my best friend. I've got, I've got incredible friends, family friends. I've got a great team. I've got, you know, all of these people that encourage me daily and inspire me daily to keep doing the thing that I'm doing. And, um, you know, much like Jake, that's something that he lacked and what he needed and what he needed in Quinn and in Jazz and in the rest of the ragtag team of dancers that they pull together. I think that you get to see a, um, a, a real genuine reflection on kind of where we all are in life right now. I mean, I think that a lot of people can find things to complain about and be, be you know, be down about where COVID and quarantine and all of this stuff is concerned. I'm, I'm personally very fortunate in that I've been able to stay very busy. I'm working on all sorts of different facets of, of this industry. I'm, a, I'm producing nice. films, I'm producing television. Um, I'm a writer, songwriter as well. I'm, I work in the gaming industry and there's all sorts of things that have been able to, like that have kept me very, very busy. I think the work-life balance is the thing that I, I, I still do everything that I can to make sure that I maintain. Um, but that, you know, that's kind of just that. It, the whole world was throwing a curveball. It's not just me, you know? Yeah, we, we were supposed to get married last week and it got moved Aww. to November, you know? And that's okay. Like, we're still doing life. Like, we're not we're not down. We're fine. <laughs> we're good, Aww. you know? We still have our help and we have okay. each other and we have, you know, I have my work and and, and like, we're, we're, we're good. We're just, we're navigating and we're not the only ones, you know? And frankly, we have it good. Com comparatively speaking, you oh, know, yeah. um, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, and uh, yeah, I just thank God every day for that. Okay. One last question before we wrap learning choreography in itself, it's difficult, but there are scenes where Quinn is cannot dance and mm. is offbeat and tripping over her feet. What's more challenging learning new choreography or dancing with an offbeat person? Oh man, uh, I think they're both very challenging. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you one more. I think being a good dancer and dancing poorly mm. is the hardest thing. Sabrina's actually a good dancer, and it's difficult to like dance poorly or to learn to, to, to fake that you can't. You know, that's probably the hardest thing out of all of it. I, I think that like. Yeah, you know, all of these things would, would would pose challenges. I mean, I guess it kind of just depends on your level of dance and, and learning new choreography or um, your 
your your level of dance experience and dancing with somebody that can't dance and you know figuring out how to dance around them it's like uh my partner Lindsay arnold on dancing with the stars she, she has story on story on story about having to you know navigate figuring out how to make a celebrity look decent at something mm. that they simply just don't do can't do are not good at you know and um, you can learn though that's the thing you can learn if you want to you can that's right sage advice for life thank right. you so much i appreciate you. your time great movie and have a wonderful wonderful thank day. you i love your energy have a wonderful oh, day thank you you too have a wonderful right. day bye-bye bye-bye Black Girl Nerds.